Impressive. Impressive. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> <laughs>Hello and welcome to Stan vs. the Internet. Today's topic is Star Wars. Uh, our stand for the day, an absolute expert, knows way more than any of us, has written literal books on Star Wars. It's Dan Casey from Nerdist. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you for showing up. Uh, you know, usually for these shows, we just throw one of us into it and say we're a stand. Today, we actually got someone who, you're actually like an expert. I think you guys are selling yourself short though, I gotta say. Shh, thanks, yeah. Dan. Uh, Real nice of you. Uh, now, you're an expert on Star Wars and also Marvel and, and other things? Yes, I spend a lot of time overthinking fictional worlds is probably That's the great. simplest way to put it. How do you feel? Do you feel ready for this? Uh, no. Yeah. First question, can you guess what character I'm cosplaying as? A college girl at a fall football game. <laughs> I'm that just kidding, you're clearly, you're clearly Han Solo. Thank you, That's thank right. you. Yeah, I, I am a college girl. At a Woo! Yeah. And uh, today on the internet is Tommy. Hello! Uh, Tommy, how do you feel about using the internet today? Uh, well, I purposely am not wearing my glasses. And by purposely, <laughs> I meant I left them at home. So I'm going to be making this face a lot so that I can see. Great. <laughs> we also left uh, one, of, uh, one of Dan Casey's books right here that he wrote, uh, 100 Things Star Wars Fans Should Know and Do Before They Die. This is not the updated version because you updated this with 100 more pages. Yeah, the special edition has come out with, uh, it's more up-to-date, it goes up to Solo. This one came out, I think, right before The Force Awakens. Okay. So if you'd like to think that Han Solo does, in fact, live forever, this is the book for you. But also, before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe. If you don't, Han Solo dies. Question number one. What creature did Luke Skywalker milk in The Last Jedi? Oh my god, I don't know the name. Oh wait, it says yes I do. Thala Siren. It is a Thala Siren. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I like the just like, oh yeah, I know that. And just we're run, like, yeah, that's Just running through the milkable creatures of the galaxy, which is a statement I wish I hadn't just said, but here the we are. The next question is, how many milkable creatures are there in the Star Wars universe? More than you think, but less than you want. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Question number two. What important role model in J.J. Abrams' life was Maz Kanata based on? This is one that I actually don't think I know, so I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say the mystery box. The mystery box? Yeah, it's what is all of his stories. They're a big mystery box. You open it up, and is there an ending inside? I hope so. We'll find <laughs> out. I like that answer, but it's not correct. We're going to send it over to the internet. JJ Abrams, Maz, Canada. I'm spelling it like K A N A T A. Thank you. I spelled Maz Canada. K A N A T A. Max Canada, private eye. Inspiration? Okay, 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 okay. Good, 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 good. Um, uh, uh, someone very important in his life, tell me who it is! Um, his Pacific Palisades English teacher. Do you know the name? Uh, if you give me a second to read the article. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> gotta be like Mrs. Face. Kanata or well, something Mrs. like Kanata. that. <laughs> like, Ms. Kanata? <laughs> I don't, I don't. All right, we'll give you half a point. Because that's you. half of it. It was, it was his high school English teacher, Rose Gilbert, uh, also known as Mama G. Oh, it was right there. <laughs> yeah, it was right in front of you. That's okay. We're on to the third question. What card game does Lando lose the Millennium Falcon over? Um, he loses it over um, Pazic, right? We're going to the internet. Oh, I know it. Ooh. I know what it is. Okay, Lando loses game oh. in bar cards. Question mark. Come on, keywords. Uh oh. <laughs> um, what game did Lando? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh. S uh. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. <laughs> Sabak. Yes. It is Sabak. <laughs> uh, Next question. What did George Lucas famously say after his first private screening of The Phantom Menace? By George, you've done it again! <laughs> 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 I feel like 
<laughs> he for sure did say that also. Oh, wow. Um, that was pretty good. <laughs> I'm Kermit the Frog. <laughs> okay, we're moving over to the internet. Uh, say, after screening Phantom yeah. Menace, don't look at all of my typos, don't worry about it, it looks exactly how it should. It looks exactly how it should. Am I gonna watch this video? Am I about to watch this video? I don't have time. Uh, what did George, George, Lu George Lucas admit? Uh, quote, quote, I may have gone too far. That's incomplete. <laughs> no! It's an incomplete quote. In a few places. Okay, okay, okay. We'll get, uh, we yeah. give it to him, all right. He said, I may have gone too far in a few places. I can't think of a single place where he went too far. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I don't think Phantom Menace went far enough. Next question. According to C-3PO, what are the odds of Han Solo successfully navigating an asteroid field? Oh man, I can feel the internet seething. Uh, I do word stuff and make em ups, numbers, uh, not as much. It's all just Marvel up here these days, but uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, a million to one. Go over to the internet. C-3PO successfully, oh no, no, asteroid field. God, okay, uh, so, okay. What he said. <laughs> oh, yes, that is correct. What if I was like, no, that's a dubbed over. Yeah. That's incorrect. That's not real. We got another uh, game question here. Okay. What is the proper name for hollow chess? Dejeric. That is correct. Dejeric? <laughs> Yo, have you seen Jarek around? <laughs> yeah, he's super drunk last night. No, I haven't seen him, uh, but I'm, I'm his twin brother, DeJason. <laughs> DeJason. <laughs> Next question. Kashyyyk is best known as the homeworld of the Wookiees. Spell Kashyyyk. <clears throat> K-A-S-H-Y-Y-Y-K. That is correct. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy crap. I said, I don't do numbers, letters, all, th those are fine. Those are okay, fine. Okay, <laughs> okay. Next question then. What planet are the Yasm found on? Well, I'm gonna have to take a shot in the dark here and go, Tatooine? Go over to the internet. Yasm. Yasm. <laughs> Yasm. Um, um, <laughs> oh baby, oh baby. Uh, oh, got it, oh baby, uh, they are a, uh, the Yasm. <laughs> are a sentient species native to the forest moon of Endor. Endor, that is correct. Endor. Oh! <laughs> it's the singing guy from uh, from Jabba's palace, the guy who's like, la, la, la. <laughs> Like Psy Snoodles? Yeah. This okay. One, this one's holding a rifle. That's terrifying. <laughs> Next question. Hmm. What is the name of Dash Rendar's ship? God, let me uh, flash back like Proust to the time I rented an N64 when I was in grade school. Um, <laughs> this is Dash Rendar. Tell the princess I've got that shipment of assault uh, blast. Fast sports car. Internet. <laughs> fast sports car. Fast sports car. Dash Rendar's fast sports car. Dash Rendar's fast Dash sports car. Dash Rendar ship name. Baby, 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 baby. The Centennial Hawk. <laughs> The Jetta. <laughs> uh, it is the Mercedes Outrider. <laughs> it, is, it is the Outrider, that is correct. Here's the next question. What legendary metal is used to create the Mandalorian armor? Of course, when you said that I'm, oh. Beskar. It is Beskar. The best car is the it's Mercedes the car. It's the best car. <laughs> this is definitely a fuck you question. <laughs> there, this is the one that Oh good, was this put is the there. one. This <laughs> is the absolute f you question. Are you ready? I'm re yes, as ready as I'm gonna be. What is Grand Admiral Thrawn's real name? Oh my god, I just looked this up recently, but I can't remember, so I'm gonna have to go with Thronathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> It's all, there's so many apostrophes and vowels in there, it feels like a prank, but uh, 
I, I do not, I honestly do not remember this. There's a reason it's been shortened to Thrawn. <laughs> okay. Tommy, are you ready? You may begin. <sighs> that, okay. that? Yeah. Thrawn! Damn. <laughs> Star Wars. Oh. You gotta pronounce it correctly. Good luck. Mithranurado. Uh, it's actually pronounced Mithran Naruto. Matthew Naruto. Matthew Naruto. It's Mithran Naruto. It's look. I, I don't know. It's it's this. I I have mm-hmm. no idea. This. I mean, yes, you are correct. There's three apostrophes in there. Or there's two apostrophes. There are a lot of vowels. That's a whole episode yeah. of Wheel of Fortune. Harrison Ford once famously said to George Lucas uh, after the making of A New Hope, George, you can write this shit, but you can't say it. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. The internet will get a full point yeah. for that. Uh, all right, moving on. What popular band was cut from the first version of Attack of the Clones? This is a weird one. I, this, is, this is some weird trivia knowledge. I did not know. Gosh, who was popular in 1999? Well, I want to say Limp Bizkit, but they're more of like a Star Trek band. <laughs> oh, God. Beat me up, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> um, popular band. Um, you know what? It's going to be a total shot in the dark here. You too? Move over to the internet. Mm. Uh, clones band cut. <laughs> 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 In sync, shot two different scenes that were later cut from Attack of the Clones. That's wild and true. <laughs> <laughs> Does Anakin, Anakin Skywalker just murdering them? <laughs> yeah, they're among the younglings in there. <laughs> yeah, in Revenge of the Sith. Okay, uh, next question. Which Star Wars Lego set has the most pieces? Now this is multiple choice. Mm-hmm. Is it A, the UCS Millennium Falcon, the Death Star, the UCS Imperial Star Destroyer, or the UCS AT-AT Walker? I believe it is the UCS uh, Death Star. And if not, it's the Millennium Falcon, in which case I apologize to all those Lego heads out there, but I'm going with Death Star. We're gonna go to to the internet. Mm. Okay. Five seconds. Uh, the Millennium. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote Death Ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the internet's given up. Uh, so no one gets a point. The answer is the Millennium Falcon. Mm. Uh, Seven thousand five hundred forty-one pieces. I just saw someone building this on Instagram too. I should have remembered. But. The Death Star has four thousand pieces compared yeah. to the Millennium Falcon seven thousand five hundred. That's wild, huh? Anyways, <laughs> moving on. There's another multiple choice. Okay. Which of these Star Wars movies is the only film to have the camera pan up after the iconic opening title crawl rather than down? Is it Episode Six, Return of the Jedi? Episode two, Attack of the Clones, episode nine, Rise of Skywalker, or Solo, a Star Wars story. You know what? I'm going to go with Solo, a Star Wars story. Go to the internet. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> camera pan up. Uh, Star Wars. Yeah. yeah, those are movie. That's good. Got it. <laughs> movie. Uh, Star Wars movie. Make sure you specify it's movie. Cameras. Did they shoot it? Or is she gonna get Star Wars home goods? <laughs> uh, episode two. That is correct. Thank you, Reddit. Mm. <laughs> wow. Okay. Impressive. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> what famous voice is behind General Grievous's cough? I am gonna go with Frank Oz. Frank Oz, we're gonna go to the internet. If you can figure out the cough behind General Grievous. Grievous. Someone coughing behind him. Someone coughed behind him. Grievous cough. Kenobi, what? what? <laughs> Hello there. Did someone fucking cough? <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> f- okay. Dude. 
Mace Windu confronts him using the force to crush his chest plates, injuring his lungs and leaving him with his distinctive asthmatic cough. That was uh, not the answer we were looking for. That is fascinating though. The <laughs> famous nice. voice behind General Grievous's <laughs> cough is that of George Lucas. Oh. oh. The original release of A New Hope had uh, two iconic dewbacks roaming around the sands of Tatooine. Mm -hmm. How many dewbacks are in the special digital special edition? Inclusive of the, of the original two, or inclusive in of the original two. Okay. So. All right. So two dewbacks leave Toshi Station. 14 miles an hour. <laughs> Six. Internet. <laughs> Dubacks. Dubacks. Digital edition movie. <laughs> Dubacks. Oh, oh, oh. Star Wars. <laughs> um, what are these uh, Dubacks doing in licorice pizza? <laughs> Oh dear. Five. The Many Saints of Newark has <laughs> how many dewbacks in it? Gabadu. Gabadu. Okay. I didn't I couldn't find the answer in time. I'm going to guess 4. The answer is 7. Oh, there were 7 uh, in the background. Here's a crazy one that I did not know, but I'm fascinated by. Darth Vader's chest plate has written words etched in around the buttons. What language is the writing in? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess Arbesh. Go to the internet. I didn't know there were words around his book. I never noticed words. that. Yeah, it's play, it's nice. fast forward, yeah. Uh, rewind. <laughs> yeah, it's just a VHS yes. rewinder. It's like an old 2XL. Um, <laughs> Hebrew? It is Hebrew. Wow. Oh. The Arabesh of Judaism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How old was Padme Amidala when she took the role of queen? 16? Internet. Okay, but wait. No, that's not when she takes the... We should try Bing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 10 seconds. Ask Jeeves, man. Uh, uh, okay, movie. Five. Throne. Four. Three. <laughs> two. One. I saw that on the last screen. I'm gonna go with this. I hope it's right. 19? No. Damn. <laughs> the answer <laughs> is 14. Ah. Yeah, 14. A proper age. Anakin was eight. <laughs> Anakin was <Yeah>. eight. <laughs> Roughly. Weird. Next question. What is the <laughs> lowest ranked Star Wars film on Rotten Tomatoes? <laughs> This is, this will be fascinating because I'm pretty certain I know the answer just based on having logged on uh, to the internet at all during the past five plus years. So, The Last Jedi. Has, Has it been? It's been supplanted. Uh, wow. No, I I liked it. I like <laughs> okay, okay. I like The Last Jedi. The one that I know is the answer now. It's not the one. Oh really? Yeah, this is it's kind of weird. Kind of a trick question. Okay. It's a little bit of a trick. Is this gonna? Mm, Ten seconds. I think I know the trick question then. Try. Okay. There are, there's one. You said, uh, could it be any Star Wars movie? What is the lowest ranked Star Wars film? Star Wars: The Clone Wars, 2008, with an 18%. That correct. is a tricky one. That is that a tricky is a trick question. It's a mean question because yes. it's not part of the classic line of movies. Yeah, but uh, definitely anime. watch the Gendy Tartakovsky shorts, which is like little, like they're like a minute or two long, but they're freaking great. Okay. In the sequel trilogy, what planet houses the main resistance base? Oh my god, why can't I freaking think of this? Mm. Do you know which ones are the sequel trilogy? Oh. I can think of all the other planets Ten right seconds. now. Uh, <laughs> Five. Um, this is not correct, but I'm gonna go with Crate because there was a resistance base there, but I know it's, it's the one where they, they hug, and they do a little dance in the behind the scenes thing. It's like nice and pastoral, it's in England. I don't know the name though. All right, going over to the internet. Got it, Wikipedia coming in clutch. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, the Outer Rim planet, Dakar. It is Dakar. Oh yeah, car. <laughs> <laughs> Dakar. Dan, we're moving on to the final question. Okay. The point tally right now is four for the stand, 11 for the internet. So you're down by seven points. 
there is a chance for you to, to make up for lost ground. Make well, up lost ground here, catch up, maybe tie this or win. Because the final question is this. We're gonna give you a minute to name as many actors as you can who've both been in the MCU and the Star Wars universe. Okay. And you may begin now. Uh, Natalie Portman. Um, I don't know if he was in that. Uh, Stellan Skarsgård. <laughs> Feels like he should be. Uh, well, no, she wasn't in it. I'm just thinking of the main people. Oh, Oscar Isaac. Uh, he's in the MCU now. Future. Yes, Moon Knight. That's Hope. not even on the card. Um, so legit. Oh, uh, Mads Mikkelsen. Oh, soon to be Amelia Clark. She's going to be in Secret Invasion. Um, I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson, the most obvious one. I'm an idiot. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, <clears throat> 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Max Rebo. <laughs> 2, 1. All right. Uh, now you guessed, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so you guessed five actors, which puts you at nine points to the internet's 11. Unfortunately, you didn't win, but you made it close. All the actors who've been in the MCU and Star Wars universe. I'm about to be furious. You, named, yes. you <laughs> named two future ones, which is pretty impressive. Uh, but the answers are Samuel L. Jackson, mm -hmm. Natalie Portman, Paul Bettany, Andy Serkis, Benicio Del Toro, this one's kind of a trick. Donald Glover, who has a small scene. He's, in. look, he could be the Prowler in a future Spider-Man movie. Yeah, you never know. know. Mads Mikkelsen, Lupita Nyong'o, Forrest Whitaker, John Favreau. Uh, then these names get tough for me to pronounce. Uh, ben Mendelsohn, mm -hmm. Hannah John Kamen, Richard Armitage, and Peter Serafinowicz. So those are all the actors, but you added Oscar Isaac and Amelia Clark because they are about to be in the MCU. I had no idea that Amelia Clark's about to be in the MCU. That's so awesome. They're just gonna throw the entire Game of Thrones cast into yeah, the MCU. Yeah, they just huh? they just tip that show upside down until they all like, fall out into the MCU. Right, there you go. <laughs> they literally like almost half of them are now yeah. at this point. Okay. Uh but unfortunately you lost. Yeah. That's okay. We made these questions crazy so hard that the internet really struggled to find them. Yeah. Uh, but thank you so much for coming on, Dave. Thank you for having me. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Thank you to the internet for not uh, tearing me apart in the comments. I appreciate your yeah. candor and your uh, <laughs> generosity of spirit. I'm loving all these very civil Star Wars conversations yes. that are happening beneath this video. So <laughs> nice. Uh, Dan, where can people find you? Where, where are you at? Uh, you can find me each and every day over on Nerdist.com, and you can find me online at Dan Casey on Twitter or at Osteoferocious, like the bone disease but meaner, on Instagram. And you can find my book about Star Wars wherever fine books are sold. So, uh, yeah. And you also you. have a book. Do you have a book on, on Marvel as yes, well? Yes, I have a book about the Avengers as well, which uh, up until it, it's right before, I think, Avengers Age of Ultron came out. So if you want to think that Iron Man lives forever, you're in luck. Hey, sounds like a <laughs> Sweet deal to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, thank you guys for watching. Let us know in the comments what other topics you want to see a stand face the internet on. Uh, and, uh, you know, have a good day. But also, there's more videos here for you to watch. There's more where you could click on them if you want. I think you should. Use the internet. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Which one does he want you to watch? Probably that one. <laughs>